What's up everybody? So in this video we're going to take a look at setting up the iPhone 10 and how involved of a process this is. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to set this up manually and use and see if I can use my Google Pixel to transfer stuff over onto this. Okay, so I've added my Wi-Fi and now it is saying that it's going to take a few minutes to set it up. Okay, so here we need to insert our SIM. Unlike Android, you actually need a SIM to set this phone up. So let me go ahead and put my SIM in real quick. Alright, so I put my SIM in the phone. Let's go ahead and try this again. All right, so now it's asking us to set up Face ID, and this is the new and improved security feature that they've added, which is what you see that little infrared thing flashing up there. Uh, I'm gonna set this up later. I'll just go ahead and use a finger or password for right now. I'll set that up later. All right, so I've put in a passcode. Now it's asking if we wanna restore from iCloud, from iTunes, set up as a new phone, or move data from Android. So I'm actually gonna try this one out and see what happens. Download move to iOS on your Android device to get started. All right, so I have the app installed on my Pixel 2 XL. Go ahead and select Move Data from Android and continue. Here's our code. I think they need to be on the same Wi-Fi network, but we'll see. So 531, 688, just make sure. Oh, oh, so I guess it did work. So for this to work, it looks like they need to be on the same Wi-Fi network, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so it looks like it's waiting for Pixel 2 XL. So I'm actually just going to transfer. I use Google Photos, so I'm not gonna do that. And I'm going to transfer my account and my messages, so let's hit next. So I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward through this part and come back once this process is done. Alright, so the transfer is complete. That took about uh, six or seven minutes. And oh, look at that. You can recycle your Android phone for free at an Apple store. That's so nice of them. Thanks a lot, Apple. So we're done over here. So I think we can uh, move on with setting up the iPhone. So I'll go ahead and move this guy out of the way. Alright, so let's continue setting it up. Alright, so I put in my Apple ID and password and now it says it's updating my iCloud settings. Alright, more legal mumbo jumbo from Apple. Go ahead and agree. So Express Settings is just set it up right away and jump into it. I'm going to go ahead and do Customize Settings. So Location Services, if you want to be able to use Maps or find your iPhone features, go ahead and enable this. This is if you want to set up Apple Pay. I'm going to do this uh, later in the wallet app itself. So go ahead and do set up later. Keep passwords and credit information safe and secure in iCloud Keychain. This is another thing you can use if you want. I don't use this, so I'm going to go ahead and say don't use iCloud Keychain. Siri, if you want to go ahead and get Siri set up, um, you can do that right here. I'm going to set this up later too. Let's get it. I just want to get into the phone. iPhone Analytics, if you want to share uh, data with iPhone, with Apple about your phone's performance and whatnot, you can do that. I'm gonna say no. So True Tone is the display, uses the sensors up here to adjust the colors based on your environment. Um, if you wanna do this now, you can do that or you can do it later in display and brightness settings. I'll go ahead and just hit continue and let it do its thing. Go home, swipe up from the bottom edge anytime and return home. And then to switch between apps, swipe up and pause to go to the app switcher, so continue. For controls, you swipe down from the top right edge. Press firmly under control to remove more options. All right, and all right. So now we're in the phone. It's set up, and there you have it. So, so it's asking us to sign in if we want to download the free apps that we backed up from our Android phone. If you want to do that, then this is where you would sign in. And backing it up from my Android device was actually surprisingly easy, though I wish it was. It gave you the option to use a cable. Other than that, not too shabby. So there you have it. It's been a quick look at setting up the iPhone. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos on the iPhone 10. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. So until next time, take care.